Good morning again. Good morning, sir. So I'm wishing you the best for those who are going to to go to a driving test. I know uh, you are well prepared because we have prepared you and you have prepared yourself. We know you are going to make it and uh, we'll be very happy if we get good results. So if I ask you questions as a way of preparing you more, please answer the question as it is. Thank you. Now, what is the rule of the road in Kenya? Always keep left unless overtaking. Make sure you answer it in a loud way so that an examiner can hear you in a good way. Okay? Thank you. Now, causes of accidents. Of course, there are 10. Overspeeding can cause accidents. Overloading can cause accidents. Carelessness in driving can cause an accident. Driving when drunk can also cause an accident. Okay? Okay, less overtaking can also cause an accident. All right? Yes. Now, we always overtake from the right. That is the right way of overtaking. Now, the question is, when do we overtake from the left? Let me see your hands. When do we overtake from the left? Number one. When the car in front of you is turning right. Correct. When the car ahead of you is turning to the right and there is no space, we can overtake from the left, correct? When ordered by traffic police. When ordered by a uniformed traffic police officer, you can also overtake from the left. Another one. In case of emergency. In case of an emergency, you can overtake from the left. Another one. When there is an accident you. When there is an accident ahead of you, you are also allowed to overtake from the left. Thank you very much. Now, within which period are you supposed to report an accident? It is supposed to be immediately or within 24 hours. Now, we have roads that connect countries, then we have roads that connect cities or counties. What are the two names? Please be loud. Trunk road and non-trunk road. Correct. Trunk road and non-trunk road. Trunk road connect countries. Non-trunk road connect cities. Thank you. Now, what is a street? Now, I want you to answer questions quickly and in a loud way. A road, a road that is bordered by buildings, we call it a street. Okay, what is an avenue? Let me see hands, please. Be active. A road, by buildings. a road that is bordered by buildings, we can call it a street. Now, a road bordered by uh, vegetation, now we call it a vegetation. I mean, uh, we call it an avenue. Thank you very much. Now, we have three types of roundabouts. We have three types of roundabouts. Let us name them. Mini roundabout. Ordinary roundabout. Henomas roundabout. Thank you. Now, we also need to know uh, rules of the roundabout. Roundabout rules. We need to know them, all of them. Now, number one. No parking. No overtaking. No changing of lanes. No reversing. No stopping. Okay? No waiting. All these are rules of the roundabout. Now let us talk about the model town board. What are the rules of a model town board? Use the shortest route, the most correct route, without using parking. Yes. Use the shortest route, most correct route, without using Parking route. Number two. Use the longest route. The most correct route without using parking. Use the longest route. Most correct route. 
without using parking route. Now the third rule. Use parking as the last option. Thank you. Now use parking route as the only option. Okay. Now let us mention places on our roads that we are not allowed by the law to stop. At a junction, we cannot stop. On a bridge, we cannot stop. At a roundabout, we cannot stop. On a bit of the road, we cannot stop. At yellow caps, we cannot stop. Okay. Now, what is a junction? I want to see hands, especially those who are going for a driving test. It is where two or more roads meet. Now let us mention examples of the junctions that we have. Types of junctions. Cross we have cross junction, box junction, T junction, X junction, and Y junction, and also staggered junction. Okay? Thank you. Now what is the procedure of crossing and control railway junction at night. What is the procedure of crossing and controlled railway junction at night? You stop. You stop, correct? You dim lights. You dim lights, correct? Then you listen. You listen, correct? Then you look right. Then you look right. Left. Left. Right again. Right again. Then you cross if it is safe for you to do so. Thank you. Now, what is the procedure of crossing a riverbed or a seasonal river crossing? What is the procedure of crossing a riverbed or a seasonal river crossing? Who has an answer? How do we cross a seasonal river? How do we cross a seasonal river? So you don't know that one? We may, back, uh, we may come back to it. Let us proceed. So when do we put on lights during daytime? When do we put on lights during daytime? When it is foggy? When it is, foggy? When it is raining? When it's raining? Uh, she wanted to say you asked. In case of emergency? In case of, emergency? In case of poor visibility? In case of poor visibility? When, it's dusty. when it is dusty. When are you not allowed to drive a vehicle even if you have valid documents? You have valid documents, but you cannot drive. One, when sick, when I am sick, when you are drunk, when ordered by the court of law. Proceed again. Also, when your vehicle is not roadworthy. If your vehicle is not roadworthy, even if you have valid documents, you cannot be allowed to drive. Okay? Thank you. Now, we, we have uh, junctions. Remember, we have the roundabouts and we have junctions. And a junction is not uh, a roundabout. There are uh, some differences. Now, uh, what are the rules of a junction? We have got ru uh, junction rules. Which ones are these? Number one? You cannot make a U-turn while using a junction. We cannot overtake while using a junction. We cannot back when using a junction. And another one? We reverse. And we can also not reverse. Now, which mistakes do people make when holding a steering? Mistakes that people make when holding a steering? People, some people hold the steering family. 
Some people hold the steering using one hand. Grease crossing of hands. People use elbows. Okay? To hold a steering. Another one. Thank you. A driver has got how many eyes? Three. Two natural and all mirrors. What is the what is the cause of skidding? Emergency braking. These ones you know them. Soft grounds. Over speeding. Make a sudden U turn can cause uh, skidding. Okay? Emergency braking can cause a skidding. Because of worn out tires, we can do what? We can cause, I mean, uh, uh, we can cause skidding. Now, what can be the outcome of skidding? What can be the result of skidding? Results of skidding? Uh -huh. Thank you. And what can we do to avoid skidding? What we can do to avoid skidding? Very easy. Keeping. In the case of emergency, we are not supposed to put the brakes at the median. So Correct. We pump, we pump the yeah. In, avoid emergency braking. Keeping the speed limit. Yes, keeping the speed limit. And make sure you replace worn out tires. Okay? If you are stopped by a uniformed traffic police officer and security lights, you are, uh, uh, security lights uh, shows that you have to continue going, who do you obey and what is the reason why? You are supposed to obey who? Traffic lights or tra uniformed traffic police officer? Yes, and why? Talk loud. It is because they are mandatory. So I think uh, with such uh, oral questions, I think I pre we have prepared you enough, and I can see the response is not uh, uh, bad. I promise to work more hard so that when it comes to that time of going to examination center, you are well prepared. We don't want you to get embarrassed in any way. So if you go there, make sure you look disciplined, you look humble, you look a, a person who can understand questions. And when you start answering questions, make sure you give out the correct answers. Do not panic. Okay? Do not panic. And uh, they will be with you to make sure you don't have any 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 problem so work very hard and learn how to answer oral questions okay so when answering oral questions please uh, make sure you make it loud so that any person can hear you so this is how you are going to 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 to, to make it in your exams this is how you are going to do it first of all you'll start with the road signs Secondly, it will come to oral questions. And thirdly, you'll come to a model town board. Then fourthly, they, they'll take you to the field where you'll find your, your vehicle and you'll show them your basic knowledge about driving. So I wish you the best and uh, work hard. Thank you very much.